In this problem, we are driving a car that is moving at 90 kilometers per hour, and apparently our driver will sneeze for... All right. In this problem, we are driving a car at 90 kilometers per hour. Uh, this problem asks us how far we will move uh, while our eyes shut for half a second, 0 0.50 seconds, uh, because of a simple sneeze. First off, it will be helpful to convert our speed from kilometers per hour uh, to meters per second, so that one, we have it in SI units, and two, the units will be consistent with our time value, which is given in seconds. So conversion rate between uh, kilometers per hour will be something that converts from kilometers to meters and hours to seconds. So there are 1,000 meters in a kilometer. Uh, so I'm going to put the kilometer in the denominator so the kilometers cancel out and 1,000 meters on the top. I'm just using some basic kind of dimensional analysis here, of course. And in one hour, there are 3,600 seconds. Uh, pardon the handwriting here, but that's 3,600 seconds. And uh, those units will cancel out, of course. And we are left with a speed of 25 meters per second. Now we want to find how far the car moves uh, during the time of 0.5 seconds while we're moving at a speed of 25 meters per second. Uh, so let's look at our formula for the speed of an object, or the velocity. And it is given by a distance, or change in position, uh, divided by the time elapsed. Now we are looking for uh, the distance specifically. So let's uh, get rid of these t's here. I'll multiply both sides by t so that they cancel out here. And multiply by this side as well. So now we have a formula telling us that the distance we move over a course of t over a certain amount of time at a certain speed is equal to that speed multiplied by the time. So now we'll just plug in our values. We are moving at 25 meters per second, and we are moving 4.50 seconds. And plugging this into our calculator or just doing it in your head, you get a speed of 12.5 meters. Or I'm going to round up to two significant figures, since we have two significant figures and both of these uh, terms are multiplying. And so our final answer is that the distance is about 13 meters.